Can a man on testosterone replacement therapy actually donate blood? What about if you're using HCG? This is a question I get a lot of men asking from the UK, from the USA, and all across Europe. And it's really an important one because not only does donating blood help save lives, but for some men on TRT, it can also be a way to manage elevated hemoglobin and hematocrit. So today, let's break it down country by country and clear up some of the myths and see if there are any real barriers or if this is just a non-issue. In the UK, the NHS Blood and Transplant Unit sets up the minimum hemoglobin standard for men, and that's around 135 grams per litre. That's a bottom level and if you're below that level, you really can't donate because you're gonna make yourself anemic. Now, what about being too high? How high is too high for hemoglobin? And this is where the TRT user is often concerned because that's really one, one of the reasons why the TRT user may even consider donating blood. I mean, other than because it's a nice thing to do to help out the national blood supply, many men on TRT either are preempting or trying to prevent their hemoglobin or hematocrit from going too high. Normally there's little tests that they'll do the test will be they'll drop some i think um your blood and see how long it takes to fall i think that's normally the um the esr but if you're over 180 grams per liter it may if you're above that you may get flagged for review but more realistically i think if you're over 200 grams per liter or higher you'll usually be deferred and told to see your gp since they think that maybe the thick blood won't risk the blood supply but they're worried if they take the blood out it may cause complications when you donate i i don't think that's the case if anything you'd probably benefit from having the higher blood but out of caution uh, sometimes they may turn turn you away and that's where maybe be a private therapeutic for body may, may, uh, may be an advantage. So yes, men on TRT can donate in the UK, but if you, if you need to land in that safe window, you'll probably need to be higher than 135 and probably no higher than 200 grams per litre. And what about HCG? Are there any, any issues at all? And does it affect eligibility? We'll talk about that in a minute, but let's talk about in the USA, what's the standard in the USA? In the US, the American Red Cross and other donation centers follow the FDA rules and for men uh, the minimum hemoglobin is 13 grams per deciliter on the upper range most centers will defer donations if you're over 18.4 grams per deciliter sorry 18.5 grams per deciliter or sometimes 19 uh, because above that the blood may be considered too thick for you to safely donate but if you have ever donated or did therapeutic phlebotomy and you're higher than that number which many of you are on TRT it may not really be that much of an issue but those are the rules out of being cautious so if you're within the right range, you're good to go. Testosterone therapy is not an exclusion and really neither is HCG. Plenty of men on TRT in the US donate regularly and it's even a common way to manage your elevated hematocrit outside of the, of the norm. So what about Europe? In Europe, there are many different countries in Europe and I know we're categorizing all of them across the continent. <laughs> the rules will vary slightly by country to country. Germany, France, Spain and Italy all require men to have at least, again, 13.5 grams per deciliter. On the upper side, it might be as high as 19 grams per deciliter, maybe the limit and they will defer you again to your GP um, for medical review. And again, testosterone or HCG are not disqualifiers and it's all about your hemoglobin range normally. Of course, every location can be different as long as you are within the thresholds of acceptance. And obviously there are other issues that you may have, other things that may disqualify you, but from a, the point of view of being a TRT patient, that shouldn't disqualify you. So what are some of the uh, myths or concerns that we can address? So let's put this all together. In the UK, men need to have levels of no less than 135 grams per litre or 200 grams per litre. And if you were to break it up to grams per deciliter, that would be no less than 13.5 and no greater than about 20 uh, grams per deciliter. In the USA, men must be between 13 at the low end. If you're too low, you can't donate and probably no higher than about 19 grams per deciliter. And in Europe, again, very similar, 13.5 to 18.5 to 19 grams per deciliter for your hemoglobin number. If you're too low, you'll be deferred until you recover, meaning get that level higher or that level comes down a bit. And if you're too high, which is fairly common on TRT, you may need to have a therapeutic phlebotomy, though your doctor might be able to do it for you in depending on who your doctor is. But let's be crystal clear. TRT is 
not a bad medication and HCG should not be a problem either. Um, I've had issues in the past uh, with donating blood, both in, in the USA. Uh, at my time in the, uh, when I had done it, I was put over, sent over to the Red Cross's uh, therapeutic phlebotomy unit where they a little bit too aggressively removed blood, not for a TRT patient, but they conflated polycythemia vera with erythrocytosis secondary to TRT. And unfortunately, uh, and this is where a lot of people on TRT uh, get very cross with those who say, donate, 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 because you can drive the ferritin way too low. And that's what is designed when you go for a therapeutic phlebotomy. If you have polycythemia vera, but you don't necessarily want to drive that ferritin so low, if you're just having slightly high red blood cells, erythrocytosis secondary to your TRT, which is why a lot of um, men are cautious and lots of doctors, especially in the TRT community, have talked about not just giving blood to give blood. With that being said, I've always held the, the position that if you want to give blood because it's either a nice thing to do or like anyone else, there are other people who aren't on TRT who give blood sometimes every three to four months, almost preemptively trying to keep their hemoglobin in a good range. There may be some therapeutic benefit for uh, having blood donations. Some have even argued it may, may help reduce your forever chemical load or even uh, plastics. But overall, it's not a bad thing if you want to donate blood on a regular scale. It's just when it give you that aggressive uh, lowering of the blood as if you were polycythemic rather than secondary or erythrocytosis secondary to TRT. So again, men on TRT can and maybe should donate blood both in the UK, the USA and Europe. Europe, but in the normal cycle as it's a good thing to do to help fill back the blood banks of your respective countries and regions. So yes, you shouldn't be excluded for being on TRT, but again, you need to make sure your hemoglobin checks out in the right place, that you're not too low and you're not too high. And most likely on TRT, you'll probably be more on the high side than you would be on the low side, unless you're just starting. But anyway, that's uh, my thoughts being on TRT and having donating blood is is a good way a nice thing to do for people and it, it helps save lives so there's nothing wrong with donating blood anyway if you found this video helpful do subscribe hit the like button and let me know in the comments have you donated blood whilst on trt what was your experience were you accepted did you get denied i'd love to hear from you and don't forget to listen to us on spotify where we have uh, podcasts and have different content like this